I swear I missed the Saturday chill But now I'm grown, gotta pay bills I used to play in late station every now It's hard to stay still Using all my time to climb the 8 mil Lucky Charms was my 8 a.m. meal On cinnamon toast Honey nut smacks and Cheerios Just filling my boat Eyes glued to the telly It was Ed, Ed, and Eddie But can you lower your voice Cause I'm missing my show Look, waking up to some homemade food You get yo at 11, Beyblade at noon Hit the Mario Kart when the heck in cute Got me feeling like a chemist by the time it was two Mix up the cereal, textures are critical For its taste to be right at this pinnacle Watching Hey Arnold and Dragon Ball Z Watch me shine with my pebbles through day Nah, man Yeah, 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 we made ya Right What's up everybody, it's your man Rayleigh Man It's Saturday, which means it's time for Saturday morning cartoons and cereal. cereal. Logic, you weren't ready on that. <laughs> Logic was like, what? What are hey, you doing? Hey, look, I've been trapped in the house for, since March of 2020. Yeah. I ain't going to be always sharp. Look at, yeah. look, look, come on. Look yeah. at, look yeah. at yeah. Look yeah. Same here. I ain't, Same here. I ain't seen none, some of y'all in months. <laughs> months. This is, this is the months. season seven of Saturday morning cartoons and cereal, but it is the Zoom edition. So, you know, we I, I really I really hope that we could find like the old clip of Zoom and put that come on and Zoom, come on and Zoom, come on. I just I don't I don't want to get the copyright though. No. We probably got the copyright just for doing that. All right, everybody, on the far left the screen is our guest of today. When it comes to culinary talent, she has no equal. When it comes to knowing how to cook a salsa and do the salsa, she has no equal. She and I will, for a later, later show, have a battle of the empanadas. But <laughs> until then, let me introduce you to the phenomenal phenom of the Flipping of pancakes. She is the Chef Lioness Cuisine. All right. Look at that. I am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With dynamite. Dynamite. So, you got Patty on the back. You are, 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 you are someone we were supposed to interview for some past seasons. So to get you on the Zoom interview, even though we are in the same state and we could have gotten you for the, but you know, COVID happened and we're happy to get you on for the Zoom interview. It's happening, it's happening. Yes, indeed. Here we are. Yes, indeed. Um, so for, for starters, you picked a very hilarious topic. You picked the smartest cartoon characters. Um, pray tell why. Because you you got the list when there was a lot of topics to choose from. Well, so I I have to be very honest and say I haven't watched too many cartoons in my adult life. But but the ones that I do remember and used to watch uh, faithfully, Dexter was one of them, and instantly when smartest cartoons when I saw some smartest cartoons on the list I just I thought Dexter just because it was one of my favorites his voice was hilarious well it, and it's a girl who does his voice I remember yes that. Mm -hmm. um and anytime he said Dee Dee it was just so <laughs> hilarious to me it was my one of my favorites um there was a few other categories I wasn't too familiar with right um so <laughs> it was just the one that resonated with me most and Dope, dope, dope. Awesome. Dope. We've awesome. been eating cereal uh, all day, so we, yeah. we, we're, we're doing we're doing cereal snacks now. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got okay. the. Uh... Oh look! Hey, look. We're, we're, we're in the same boat. Look. She got the. She got the. This is my the first meal of the day. You can never go wrong with Tony the Tiger. A giant size, okay? Giant size it up. Have you seen the flakes for life? Have you seen that there is a new size for cereal boxes? It's called the Mega. Have you seen that? I have not. Yeah. 
Um, you can get it in Walmart, oh. but it's a mega size. And apparently oh. it blows the family size out of the water. So apparently, that means you can put it on the top of the refrigerator. Oh. Yeah, I, I just want to know what household needs the mega cereal. And if you need the mega cereal, then, then maybe you sh maybe you guys are eating too much cereal. <laughs> just, just a thought. Just a thought. What, what are your top three? What are you guys' top three cereals? I mean, I mean, because we we eat a lot of cereal, but right. Really. So, but so today, what what is your top three for today? Um, our top three cereals. Mm. Yeah. Oh, uh, our top three cereals of all time are gonna be the top three for the show. Uh, Cap. Uh, number three, Captain Crunch. Yep. Uh, number two, um, is going to be. I would say um, Fruity Pebbles for yeah. the show. And then number three, I mean, one. number one mm -hmm. is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's the top three cereals. I mean, we we got we got some here. <laughs> we got a lot of shows mm -hmm. before, so we got a lot of cereal to eat. Slander. Since she brought them up, let's get right into it. Uh, one of the smartest cartoon characters of all time, Mr. Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. Of course. Uh, of course. Hey, D -D. Get out of my laboratory. Now, DD. No, DD. Don't touch that, DD. <laughs> um, probably one of my favorite characters just because of the voice alone. Oh, yeah. Just slam dunk. Yeah. Down. That accent, whatever, whatever accent they gave him. Right. <laughs> hilarious. But it always takes me back to this. De was Dexter supposed to be adopted? Because no, neither of his parents had that accent. Like, where did he get that? Where? Like, does my man just got the accent because he got the lab coat? Like, what's going on? I need answers. Let's talk about let's talk about some Chef Lioness stuff. Let's talk about something that um, you mention a lot. You have a hashtag for it. It's it, so it's it's definitely something that. Uh, is a part of your career. Mm -hmm. So about the decision to quit social work and go into right. the chef world. Because that had to be a very, yeah, that had to be a very, like, you know, big decision. It was. It was. But it was the, the correct one. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, I mean, I always want, I always love cooking. I wanted to, I wanted to go to culinary school uh, when I graduated high school, and my mom said no. Mm. Um, she told me back then, you know, real old school mom. I have very Jamaican, uh, very traditional, and she said that I wasn't really gonna make money in the chef world, you know, when right. back then. And me, you know, believing my mom, being very naive to my power, <laughs> right. um, I believed it. And she, you know, she was like, you're gonna be better as a teacher, blah, 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 and blah, whatever. So I ended up going, got my bachelor's in sociology and I loved it. I really, I, I loved it, Right. But, you know, while I was in it, I got to work with individuals on all levels. I did group homes. I the Down syndromes, the ADHDs, the bipolars, the schizophrenics. Like I have dealt with every one on every level possible right. at this point in my life. Last three years, I was a supervisor and I was literally just sitting at a desk in a cubicle mm. reading people's work as a supervisor, you know? And I... There was a day, May 2015, because I'll never forget it. Uh, I just started crying out of nowhere at my desk. Like, this can't be my life. Wow. Like, I'm meant, to, I'm meant to create. I'm meant to do so much more than just sit in a cubicle reading people's paperwork. And after that, I was like, you know what? I have to do something. I don't know what. I know I want to cook, but how do I leave? Like what, like what, how do I, you know, how do I do this? And that was May, 2015, July, 2015. One of my homegirls from college hit me up, like, let's go to Europe for free. And I'm like, what? She was like, yeah, let's do this. Um, 
let's be a chaperone to high school kids and blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, all right, let's do it. Let me talk to my supervisor. Uh, ended up traveling seven countries in three weeks in Europe. Wow. First time, yeah, it was ridiculous. Uh, uh, but it was so amazing. It was so amazing. And I got to try so much new food. And that was it. While I was in Germany, I was like, that's it. I'm going, I'm going to culinary school. Like I already know how to cook, but I, I need people to really respect it. Um, I did that. I finished in a year and then it was just like, okay, well, I know I want to cook, but I never, I didn't have like a specific I wanted to cook for what I wanted to do with it. I just knew I wanted to cook. And on July 5th, 2017, I, I, I quit. I, I put my resignation letter in three months in advance. Everyone's journey is completely different. I couldn't be in that cubicle any longer. Right. So I just had to go. It's not do the thing of saving money, having all kinds of people to support. No, I just, I had to leave and just figure it out. I was like, this is my time to put my flavors in. Right. My time. And I'm going to take advantage of that time while these hands are still working because they already have carpal tunnel from typing for 10 years. Right. <laughs> so I'm like, while these hands still work, let me cook. Let me I think cook. that the thing that's amazing about that whole, that whole story is that it's the leap of faith. Right. It's the leap of faith. It's the, it's the knowing that I there's more for me than what I'm doing that's comfortable now. Yes, this is comfortable. Right. Yes, I there's security right. here, but right. does comfortability and no security joy. mean yeah. you know that I stay and I'm miserable? It's not enough. It's not mm -hmm. enough. But you know, and you also believe in your talent. And, and believing in your talent, believing in your talent, you know who believes in themselves and no one can tell them wrong. Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty. Of you course. can't tell Rick Sanchez what he's wrong <laughs> at all. Yes, no. he does. Ruthless. He, he is so ruthless. 100 percent He's 100 percent like, belief. Oh, he know. Matter of fact, there was a. I remember the one episode where he, where he turns himself into a pickle, and uh, and Morty's like, "But why?" And he's like, "Because I can." <laughs> and I was like. So good enough answer like, for me. That's it. Like, oh, you thought it was something else or something deep. Because I can. Uh, Rick Sanchez is definitely one of the smartest cartoon characters. Um, <laughs> I got another smart one that you may be familiar with because you're familiar with Dexter, which means you're familiar with Cartoon Network. Professor Utonium of the Powerpuff Girls. The father of <laughs> Powerpuff Girls. Right. Yes. Right. I gotta say, I remember them so much more than him. Then their fault? I mean, well, that, that's understandable. Of course. Uh, around the same time that me and you met, um, you had a video out that you put on Instagram uh, where you redid Cardi B's Bodak Yellow. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do my, re I do my research. It's <laughs> <laughs> a real journalist thing. <laughs> some, I did some that. Goes, some go to culinary school, some go to journalism school. school. Yeah, it is. Um, shout out to I Cardi B. Uh, you know, we love Cardi, Cardi. B. Um, I don't know if she's so, seen Cardi it Cardi. yet, honestly. What made you do that bold move? Because that was really. So, I I used to, I used to follow her before you know she blew up when she was just making these funny videos and stuff, and I was just like, yo, this girl is hilarious. Bodak Yellow came out, and it was the first time in a really long time that I cared to learn the lyrics of a female rap song. I never really cared for that. I, and I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm a, a dance music or baby making music love. I, I love rap and hip hop, but I never, like I gotta learn word for word now. Nah. Right. But this particular, Bodak Yellow was so fire to me. Like it was just, it was fire to me. I ended up going to my homegirl's house and um, Mello, she's a great baker. 
and, and shout out to her. And she's like, I, uh, I told her, I was like, you know, I did this Cardi B rap to Bodak Yellow, but I don't know if I should record it. And she was like, I got a camera. Let's do it right now. <laughs> and I, was I, like, I love oh. situations like that. I got a camera. Let's do it right now. Right. And that same night, let me tell you something. That same night, I went out into the streets to sell empanadas at the club and I saw Cardi B. <laughs> she was at the club in Dykeman that night. And she had a she had a little situation with the with the club and it was a whole thing where her mood wasn't what it needed to be. I asked her, all that, all that came out of me was, Cardi, are you hungry? Mind you, I had empanadas right. <laughs> in, right. in my backpack. But she she was so, you know, with what was going on and, and she was with Offset that night and everything and just kept walking. But I was like, I'm gonna feed this woman at, at some point. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Been, but you, know, you'll, get, you'll get some empanadas to Cardi B. Hopefully I get my empanada yeah. before Cardi gets her empanada. It's <laughs> <laughs> so about some other ingenious smart cartoon characters. Um, you should have known who I was going to talk about by the way I did my voice. Stewie Griffin. <laughs> Stewie. Brian. 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 <laughs> Ruthless, yet another ruthless. Oh, uh, ruthless. <laughs> all, all, the man all, wanted to kill his mom for, for like five, six, how many seasons, seasons like, he wanted like, to kill his mom? Like, like seven, eight seasons he was trying to kill his mom. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, he was like, what? And then finally got over it. But yeah. My, my ringtone for my mother, uh, God bless the dad, but my ringtone for her was, uh, was mom, bum, mama, mommy, mama. <laughs> And she hated that. She's like, if you don't change this ring to, I used to make her call my phone just to play it in the house. <laughs> Another great smart character, but nowadays not too many people think that he's smart. The brain from Pinky and the Brain. This is true. Brain. Oh yes. Um, speaking of the brain, they finally put his uh, his reason why he wants to take over the world. They finally had that reason in the new. Reboot of the Animaniacs. Nice. So he wants to take over the world because he was. Well, you gotta watch it. I'm gonna let you watch it, people. <laughs> I'm not gonna be that guy and spoil it for you, even though it's been out forever. Uh, but it's on Hulu, so you can watch that and whatnot. But the brain, um, smart cartoon character, brilliant, genius, super genius. But or is he the genius? Right. Because the question is, is Pinky really the smart one? That's the real question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next question. If you could cook for any of the characters we mentioned today, who would you choose and why? And what would you cook? Um, I'd have to still go with my favorite. Okay. With Dexter. <clears throat> what am I making him? You know what? We're gonna give Dexter some real authentic Dominican food. Oh. We're, gonna give him, we're gonna give him some some real good pepper steak biste de palomilla okay. with, some de with some rice and peas. We're gonna give him the sweet plantains, put the maduro in there, and maybe some potato salad. We're gonna go real Dominican for Dexter. Mm, mm, mm. It's like yeah, it's like a skit on SNL when they, when when uh, when Keenan does um. When Kenny the Big Poppy, a little mofongo, a little abuchela, <laughs> biste. <laughs> like he, she just had me feeling. First off, Dexter ain't waking up. He gonna be in a food coma. Didi, <laughs> Didi, Didi, I cannot, Didi. I cannot move. Didi, Didi, Didi. Didi. Get, get me a pillow, Didi. Didi, I need, I need pillow, Didi. But now Didi's gonna be all up in the mix eating too. She gonna yeah. be like. They're gonna be yeah, knocked out. Be up in All right. Yeah. So now, the most curious. important question of all of this: Amen. If you could be in any cartoon universe, 
Where would you be and why? But before you answer, know this. You have to live by the rules of that cartoon universe. So let's say if you were to choose Rick and Morty's universe, you might get obliterated and, and, and Rick might not bring you back. You know? So pick your pick your cartoon universe and just know you're going to Does it still universe. have to be within the ones we discussed? or Oh, it could be with any cartoon yeah, universe. Any cartoon universe. You know what? I will pick one of my favorite favorite cartoons and I recently started watching that again for inspiration and I'll tell you exactly why the Jetsons I will be in the Jetsons one I hope we get to make it to where we have every single thing they have first off because we're almost there yeah we got we got a lot of it but there's you know there's still things that we don't have so I hope I get to see it <laughs> I'm with um, that. so there's that but interestingly enough within the first episode Mr. Spacely says um, what he misses the most was a home cooked meal he said I married my wife because she could cook and now all she does is press buttons on the machine so that will forever tell me that I am forever needed. A home cooked meal is appreciated mm. forever. So I'd have to live there because that's where I'm about I'm to give you, We're about to give you the, the, the family feud uh, clap. Good answer, good answer, good answer, good answer, good answer, good answer, good answer. yeah, yeah. It's on there, Steve, it's on there, Steve. Good answer, good answer Steve, it's on there. That's right. Oh. Jetsons, Ding, it's on the right. I'm from Cleveland, y'all. I'm from Cleveland, y'all. Listen, this was fantastic. I had so much fun with you. Um, Thank you so much. You, your aunt, that answer was amazing. Tell everybody how they can find you, where they can find you, and all that good stuff. Again, Chef Lioness Jennifer, the social worker turned chef. Find me on Lioness Cuisine at Lioness Cuisine on Instagram. Um, I have cooking class, cooking with lioness. That is what is happening since COVID hit mostly. Now I teach virtual culinary classes. Come learn Dominican fusion cuisine with me. Uh, we dance, we cook, it's therapeutic. We all need a little therapy these days. Come cope with me. Um, I'm everywhere. Just hashtag Chef Lioness. Google me. I'm everywhere. I, I'm all over. So find me. Dance and Google me, book. baby. Dance, Dance and taste book. Book. is my second brand. And God willing, it will be on tour this year at some point, somewhere. It's a pop-up now. Find me. Follow the page. Dance and taste buds. No G at the end. And that's a it. Or book a book a book a, a dance class with me. You can do that too. <laughs> look, at, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Well, look. Uh, living the best life. We're gonna we're gonna probably go. Meant to that, I am. I really am, Logic. Yes, look. She's out here living the best life. Definitely, Indeed. definitely. Um, this was uh, very inspirational. Uh, I hope that uh, some young lady or some young man sees this and says, you know what, I. I got to get out of this cubicle and I got to do what I need to do. Do what I want to do. They're, uh, they're probably watching our show at the cubicle now. Like, why am I still here? Why am I here? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're watching our show at a cubicle, get and out you the get, cubicle and you get fired for eating cereal on, and it's not your break, don't blame us. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't blame us. Don't do that. All right, everybody. Look, it's your man, Random Man. I'm here with my co-host, The Logic, for The Logic Facts. She was the Seth Lioness, and we are out. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>